。但是如果真的就是这样的事情发生的话，我也不会离开台湾，而且我可以在就是后方就是搬东西啊或怎样。对我我觉得保卫台湾并不是只有台湾人的就是职责，我觉得整个东亚人为了就是东亚的和平。都要就是去关注这个事情，也要去做出一些就是贡献吧。Today marks the one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. A lot of Taiwanese people and foreigners in Taiwan are gathering right here to show their support to Ukraine. We are going to interview some Ukrainian and some foreigners in Taiwan. Do they worry about another war from happening in Taiwan? And do they think it's safe to live in Taiwan? So let's get started. After the war in Ukraine, would you guys worry about another war from happening in Taiwan? I'm not like worried too much, but anyway, when I remember all what happened in Ukraine when I was in Ukraine, of course, I feel. Like nervous, but I think it's okay because Taiwanese people think、uh, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> Maybe China will not do it because、uh, they know that Taiwan will have like some protection from other countries. Because a lot of people who protect Ukraine and support, they will protect and support Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, kind of worried about that. Maybe one day.、Yeah. The thing is, like, kind of danger to live in Taiwan.、Mm. Right now, maybe not. But if the situation gets worse, then yeah, it will feel more and more dangerous. Yeah,、uh, yeah I'm I'm a bit concerned about it in the near to distant future because I have kids and I'm don't want them to go through that. I think this point is actually completely up to the person who wrote the article. I think he could make some mistakes. You can ask him to come to Taiwan. So let me say, like, a, it's your like, do your families worry about the fact that you guys are living in Taiwan? Only if it's on the news in my country.、Uh, my mum called me just after the blockade recently when Pelosi came to Taiwan.、Mm -hmm. After that, it was on BBC News. My mum was like, "Are you okay? What's happening?" But that's the only time.、Uh, yeah, I've had conversations with all my close family about what's going on and. How we're how we're thinking about it and how we would deal with it if it did happen.、Uh, for real, my family <laughs> don't worry because they live in Kharkiv. It's like very dangerous city. It's like near Russia border. Rockets and bombs every day at night, and、uh, they feeling better that I'm not in Ukraine. I'm in Taiwan, of course. <laughs> Taiwan is safer place than Ukraine. Ah、uh, no, my family is very calm because I'm here, not not in Ukraine. Like they think that、uh, it is much more safer here than in Ukraine. Your family in Japan will be worried about your safety in Taiwan. Ah, will, will, will. But if it really happens, it will happen. I will not leave Taiwan. And I can stay in the front, just to show my support to Ukraine. Ah, I think 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 保卫台湾并不是只有台湾人的就是职责，我觉得整个东亚人为了就是东亚的和平，都要就是去关注这个事情，也要去做出一些就是贡献吧。个人的立场是绝对不能就是去碰，就改改改变宪宪宪法，而且就是我也非常不愿意日本人上战场，然后就是就死掉这样的事情发生。我希望日本可以透过就是更物资的。物物资方面就是支持，嗯、而且呃，但不支持日本派出军队这样，这它就是违宪的一个一个事情，就必须要改宪法了。我当然也不希望就是台湾就发生这样的事情，但但是我也同时也不希望就是日就日本人就上战场，然后我了解我了解，就对，想要帮助台湾，但是同时也不需要日本人受伤。的的确是。Like、uh, comparing to Ukrainian, as you mentioned, like people worry about war before the Russians invasion. Do you think like sense any that kind of vibe in Taiwan for Taiwanese people?、Uh, with a lot of Taiwanese people in my simple life, and when I'm asking them, all of them said that wouldn't happen. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe they know better than me about this situation. So I believe them. News with the missiles and the, it's normal now. So I feel like my Taiwanese friends don't care too much because it's so normal. It's a, they're used to it. So. The, They're not too worried now. Foreigners, I think, would be a little bit more worried than the average Taiwanese person. What do you think is the reason?、Um, just because of it's a habit now. Just to hear it this week, how many Chinese planes flew into Taiwanese airspace? So 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 many. And then the foreign people, they're not used to it because maybe they've only been in Taiwan for a short time, so it's new for them. Is that kind of worries you? 
not not anymore. Not anymore. No. Yeah, I, I agree. The Taiwanese people that I interact with aren't don't seem to be as worried about it. It seems that way. I mean, I'm, I think they do care, obviously, but not in the same way. Maybe not as much. I don't know what the best way to handle it is. So maybe they're. Maybe that's the best way is to not worry and go on with life. You think your own observation, what are the Taiwanese reactions? They are very nervous. I think there is no special appearance. For example, last year when Pelosi was in Taiwan, the Taiwanese media also came to Taiwan to interview people. It was like a normal day in which people went to work or what. It's not like today is the last day of Taiwan. So I have a little bit of concern. Because I'm not sure about the people who are working in Taiwan. 全民保国吗？可以这么说吗？的话，其实如果真的就是，呃，出了事情，然后就是中国那边就是打过来的时候，我们马上就要知道自己该做什么，就是理想的状态应该是这个样子吗 ？So like, would you plan like a plan B if like anything happened, emergency in Taiwan? No, not yet. Like I already was living in war, so if it would happen here, I would like okay, that's my fate. So if like anything happened, you wouldn't return to Ukraine. You just stay in Taiwan. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yes. Okay. Maybe if there was another blockade, maybe there would be a problem with leaving Taiwan if we needed to suddenly leave. But I think that's the only thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. But obviously, I have friends and people I love in Taiwan, so. If I had to leave, that would worry me. Mm.